Well, start it off. Oh, uh, let's just reminisce on how shitty of a season I had this year. It was by far the worst season I've ever had. Will you tell everyone on the camera what you bet, bet me at the beginning of the season? And it was so confident about. So I got to read um, that I'd tag out this season, which I've never done before. Uh, to be fair, I did kill five deer, which in Texas you, you have five tags. It's a little more issue. I only tagged three of them because hey, you're submitting your crime. <laughs> well, hold on. Why do I have to kill you? Uh, you know, off the bus. I lost two of them. Is what happened. You lost. You lost the deer. Yeah. Yeah. You lost two. You oh, lost uh, let me let me break down the, the two shots. Go shot it right away. Okay. So what happened was. I'm sitting, I'm bowhunting in a ground blind, and there's a doe, and I'm like, okay, first first deer this, this season, it'll be a perfect warm up, but let's get everything going again. Um, and she's kind of getting a little spooky, and and she was giving me, she's at like 23 yards, and gave me, she was quartering in a little bit, and so I pulled back, and in my head, I was like, okay, I know where the organs are, I know where the vitals are, I know where to put this, the shot. Yeah, they're all low fence, right? Other than one or two. Well, the ones that you found were all low fence. Yeah. And we bet that it was strictly high fence. He had, he had to take down five, tag out, and... So now I owe so now a box of ammo. ammo. He went over five, basically. I think he Yeah, five. we bet some, some box of ammo, so... The season just sucked in general, it's hot. Yeah, we didn't get freeze till January. I know. January forward. That's never happened. Never. We tried to go early October, get that early hunt. Nothing. I think we went again like November, the first week of November, remember? Yeah. We drove down there. And all of Thanksgiving. Hot. hot. It was just hot. This was, was not it. But literally like now it's perfect. Like since January first. Yeah. Weather's been insane. Chasing yeah, that one you posted that like you could see he had got fucked. Yeah, his eye oh, that was crazy. Yeah, he was messed up. They just like right now, like those deer are just exhausted. They're like worn out. His eye was like gouged out. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean aging deer, especially this time, but like after the rut when they're all run down, that's it that's a little tricky. Yeah. I mean, by that time, the season's basically over anyway, so... So, uh, should we tell them about the story? About the, the deer under the... Oh, yeah. Yeah, you bring that up. So, we were... That was crazy. When we were driving, uh, Reed was going to drop me off at, at my my blind. And I look look over to a feeder, and I'm like, oh, shoot, there's... Oh, no, so we got up super late that morning. And right. so the sun was already coming up. Right, that's what happened. And so on the way to the the blind, I look at at a feeder. I'm like, oh shoot, there's there's deer right there, or there's a deer right deer. there. And I think I said something like, oh, it's just the protein feeder on the ground, yeah. or something like that. And so we didn't like think anything of it. Drove, and then luckily we took that same route coming back after the hunt. Right. And I was like, is that a is that a deer under there? And so we just drove up on it, and that thing didn't move. As, like, we got there and it didn't move. But as soon as we got out of that car, you try to, like, jump up and run, but that thing could not. You thinking that or what? I mean, no, so, like, if you look at the photos wow. of the deer, his his underside was gouged, his men just got. His front shoulder was almost off completely. He just legs. got destroyed by, he just got stabbed by a bug. Just basically one of those cheap shots, either behind or like just right. Just, the man's just eating corn, and he just comes to the side and just fucking just thrills him right in the side. Nice stuff. Yeah. That's a tough way to go out. Crack, yeah. crack back block on. Him. Yeah, basically. <laughs> what type? You came down two years ago. Mm -hmm. You got two bucks. Mm -hmm. um, One in the field. I showed the video, but it's censored. <laughs> for YouTube. Uh, uh, yeah. 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 I don't imagine yeah. this would be cool. Did I not? Uh, uh, uh yeah, probably because there's girls on there. No, I think, no, I think <laughs> he posted on his IG stories what it was. Look, it. Huh? Maybe. Well, no, not that one. The one with the one with that gouged eye one. Oh, uh, yeah, that one I did. Not, this, this is a different one. This guy, he looked bad. And what, you shot yours? Did you shoot yours in yeah. the field too? Yeah, yeah. Ryan, Ryan was the first day, I think it was like a Tuesday or something. Oh, yeah, I got to do it. Yeah, was that at the same line? Yeah. That was. Yeah. yeah. 
<laughs> hey, how about when, uh, who was it? It was me and Tyke together as y'all two in that same line across the field. Oh, we thought and was for, No, 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 no. Well, first of all, me and Tyke are, like, blasting y'all. and like, are they swiping? Are they swiping on Tinder? Remember that? <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, no, that, that was right. I was playing TikTok so loud. Was that what it was? Yes. They didn't swipe it on that. I was like, what the hell are you doing? Oh, are you talking about that? The first day when you when you Ryan was with you when you when he shot maybe that's what I don't know Connor was with the me the first day Ryan was with you when Ryan shot no, no it okay. was after that because no, the first day I shot with him but y'all were in the field and me and Cole yeah. were in a blind like uh, yeah. however hundred yards away me and Cole were in the blind when Tyke was shooting yeah and that was such a fun we saw Tyke kind of I don't know basically we were in a big fourteen acre food plot. Two of us went a ground blind together, and then two of the other two were in a ground blind in the same food plot, almost diagonal to each other. It was, like it was to the it was side, but I mean, yeah. it, it was oh, a bit, it was it was risky. I mean, we got no warning whenever Tyke shot. Oh no! It was like because we're every one of my shots has been like no hesitation, where it's like <laughs> within like ten that, seconds. Yeah, that one was like within like twenty yards. No yeah. text like, hey, we're about to shoot. A longer than twenty yards. It wasn't super long, but yeah. Okay, y'all, first of all, any deer that walks out is dead. Yeah, because, like, Tyke sees one thing, and he instantly grabs his, his headphones, and then starts, like, grabbing the gun. I'm like, Tyke, hold on, like, I haven't even looked at this buck. Like, I don't know if he's, like, a, a one-year-old, and Tyke's like, I don't care, I'm going to shoot him. No, no, <laughs> okay, that's a lie, that's a lie. No, the first one that I shot with Reed, it was like, we waited, we waited for a while, and he was like, all right, let's do it, he's right there. Like, 30 yards, and then he ran, like, 20 drops. Because the problem is, when you're down there, a day feels like a week. Right. And so, you'll be down there for four or five days straight, and you, you completely forget about what day it is. That's fair, I guess, yeah. Hey, Ty, how about that, uh, that black book that you're signing in on, that you're about to take? I just didn't like prone? it. I didn't like the prone and the hay bales. I don't know. Well, we, we didn't have a good rest for you. We had a boot. Yeah, that it just didn't. I, it just one of those like I feel like I'm gonna hit him and then I'm gonna or I'm gonna hit him in a bad spot. And it's Dude, gonna we take hit off. so many opportunities. I were like, they were good opportunities, but they weren't. They were all rushed out. though. Was the thing. It wasn't like I remember the one at the sesame that was like it was real close. And I was using that your one. back as you're using your ass as a. And then the right? fence line one where you fucking could you find him in the sight. I, I was like, oh him. my god, he's I right there. This is like 150. Yeah, and I was like, no, that would have been a good shot, but I literally could not find him. I'm like, in this site, I'm like, where the fuck is he? I couldn't find him. So I think fucking the glasses is annoying, because it's like, trying to find, like, the right, like, so, so, uh, the right yeah. distance from the scope. Yeah, yeah. That, you know when you put, like, your, your phone camera on the, on the scope? Mm-hmm. You have to find it. I feel it like it's one of those glasses. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, you, that you know? could be, yeah. Because it's lens. I, I don't know, I couldn't find him. That's the one I would have taken that shot for sure. It was a much better shot to me than the hay shot, but I could literally could not find him. We pulled up on him in the Oh, street. that's because your big ass was just walking out in the open. <laughs> no. Yeah. Like, Y'all were in front of me. How did he see me? You know Tyke, we were behind a bar and you were like oh, 15 yards yeah. out of here. No, 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 no. I'm talking about when we were. We got behind, behind the hay field? The hay? The hay? Somewhere behind the hay? No, 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 no. We're talking about uh, after that. Remember, oh. there was two, right? And there was one in the field to the left of us. He took off running. So we had so yeah. many opportunities. <laughs> no, no, we had the other. He's talking about the fence line after we got yeah. down from the. the, the yeah, yeah. Remember that, that was one? like blind right there. Went through the yeah. thing. And, like, yeah. and then like we ran and like Cole got down. I was gonna yeah. shoot off of his freaking butt. And then by the time we got down, he was already running off. Oh, uh, okay. I'm talking about a different one. He's talking about Sessie, right? Yeah. 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 My, yeah. I know what you're talking about. He had like six times. Six tries. Uh, so listeners, comment down below if if you were to book a, a hunt with somebody. And they had a, a golf shotgun range. Would y'all be interested? Like, is that something worth building? One guy with a shotgun, one guy with a with a pitching range. Yeah, and you just kind of just tee off, and then you just shoot the golf balls with the. Oh, I thought that was just a meme. I thought no. you were just gonna build like a golf range. I thought it pretty cool. I mean, you do both. I don't know if you could use like actual golf balls. I think they might not they might not break. But if you had like some, they probably have like biodegradable ones or something. I saw something yeah. about that. Somebody in one of my classes at a There's something ball. else you could use in a golf ball, yeah. Well, okay, I mean, it's got to go far. The purpose it's got to go. It's got to go golf 50 yards thing. in the air. Well, so I'm saying you, for like you should, you build the range to like. It's a, like I said I think there's a lot of hunting golf crossover where someone just like wants to in the afternoon go hit golf balls and you right. have a range. 
Yeah. But I'm saying with the shotgun thing, there's probably a different kind of ball you can use for that that still goes far. It's also, well, I mean, I think if you shoot a golf ball with a shotgun, it's going to explode. Yeah. It is a little ridiculous. That's what I'm saying. There's probably something better and like more, yeah. <laughs> but I feel like, I feel like mine's like more steam. biodegradable. There's probably like, a, like actual something that will go into the ground. That is like a or, okay, let's take the shotguns away f- for a second. If you're down hunting and you kind of have time during lunch, Tweet uh, would y'all go down to the, the driving range? Yeah. Because that's going to it's gonna take up a thousand yards, 500 yards, just to build. And so that's kind of a, a lot yeah. of land. A thousand yards? Well, if you were like so? 100 by 500. That place we were at today wasn't that big, was well, it? Cool, like little side entertainment thing. Yeah, you have five bays. That's like an awesome amenity to have, I think. Because there is definitely a lot of It's also something like where you just need to elevate it and you don't even clear it just to hit. Yeah. Yeah. You Dude. know? You, if you didn't want to do that, you got a neighbor you don't like. Well, okay, so as long yeah. as it's not in the no, hayfield, hay who cares? Yeah, there you go. Well, you can't do it in the hayfield. You, you can't do it in the hayfield. Oh, no, you mess up the tractors. You don't want the golf balls get in the hay. It could yeah. be like, but you could attach it to the back of the house. Like, you show me some pictures, some place where they had like it'd the be house, where the pins are, or where then there was like, I don't know. Whatever y'all do, decide to do that. Definitely get Garrett and Ryan as the consultants, because they're the ones who actually. Garrett would be the most golf knowledgeable one of like dimensions and shit. I don't know. I mean, I think it's just I think you know Matt and like yeah, just room to hit a ball. But I mean, like if you, it depends how nice and like correct you want to do it. If y'all are just gonna wing it, then yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, yeah, it just depends. But yeah, depends how. I mean, because anything you just find, kind of like we did with, uh, or y'all did with the, uh, with the quail thing, just find an area, right. get the tractor, and just fuck some shit up. I mean, that's where we're thinking about doing it, basically. That same, see, so same basically, area? if you're at the house, shooting that way, or hitting that way, so basically, I mean, that's over a thousand yards. Wait, we got so much stuff planned for y'all that we can't talk about like yet. the house yeah, and the, a lot of stuff. Though. Like, <laughs> yeah. the house and the guest house, like, me. facing this way? It was the... Was the Sims house though? Facing down the yeah, uh, down the road, yeah, like you're so down so the to the right. Line. Yeah, so the quail area, and you know how that that fence line's right here. Okay. <laughs> it would be hey. hitting. Yeah. Parallel with that fence line. Okay, that makes sense. How much is a barn? To mi- barn? I'm just gonna call it a barn. A barn how big, how big of a barn you want? Okay, like, hey. Do you want it to be heated? They were, they I, want, were, I want five people to be able to live in there. It's basically gonna cost. It's gonna cost as much as a house. Is it? Yeah. The one I made was like, I mean, my dad made was no insulation. It's basically just like the structural stuff. Wood, Richard. hardy. Would, and what'd the, you pay for that? Like 30K? No. I no, pay, not even. I didn't, they pay, just paid I didn't pay anything for it. I don't <laughs> have anyone. I was probably like, you know, eight, twelve thousand. Eight to twelve thousand, maybe. Yeah, they I just think. paid for those materials, yeah, which wasn't. Yeah, because we so, okay, labor, so. so, so like that one we were in today, uh, basically like a barn made. Have you been in my house? No. Oh yeah, you've seen it. Yeah, I don't. Okay. The, no, I the, haven't. I, no, I didn't yeah. see the. I haven't seen the one you built. Yeah, you have. I don't think so. Unless you, you can see house? it from your house. You can I see it from my house. Was it like to the kind of like? House you, the you come down the. <laughs> you need to stop by. Come see my. my no, I've been there. No, yeah, he's got some like chickens and stuff. It's cool. I got goats. I want to steal a goat. Baby goats. Yeah, the goats are good. I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need some soon. Yeah. Yeah. We animal farms. No way. Yeah. Goats are cool. It's in the process. They're like all really. Why do you need goats? Um, to build an animal farm. What do goats eat? I know they eat everything, but like, can they live off hay? Yeah, they eat hay. Can they, they like... live off of it, like strictly? Uh, you, they have like pellets. What do y'all feed them? We have like, yeah, we have hay. It's like, what's the like alfalfa hay? Is that a thing? Yeah, yeah. alfalfa. Yeah, that and the. That stuff's kind of pricey though. Yeah, it is. But I think they like it better. They don't. They don't really like the regular. Like the green, right? Green yeah. Hay. That and then pellets and then just like we have like a water pump, obviously, and then they just they'll like eat like random stuff around the yards. They keep the grass. Are they loud? Short. Uh, not unless they see you. They kind of yell at you. Like some of the girls will yell at you, sort of. Okay. But they're mostly like we have you really got small roosters? ones. Yeah, we get roosters. But the the goats are escape artists. Basically, right. there's no amount of fencing or. It makes a good YouTube video. Yeah, I like that. they like. They figure out some crazy stuff. Like, they'll jump on things, they'll jump on another thing and fly over the fence. We've had times where, like, they've been, like, out in the road, like, you know, half a mile away from the house. Really? What are you doing out there? 
Yeah, just like way off the property, just walking around the street, dodging cars. Oh, on that street right there? Or like, yeah, yeah, the one like to the left, like yeah. where like the circle is. Oh, that one? They walk out, yeah, they've been out there, and sometimes, so like, they'll get out of like the far side, they'll walk out to the main road, road and then come back around down the driveway so they can like be around the house. And it's like... It's like, what? Why yeah. did you leave? Why, yeah, you're, you're five feet from where you were before, you're just on the other side of the fence. <laughs> and you walked all the way to the road to get there, it just doesn't... Are, I forgot, are goats smart or dumb? Uh, Aren't it's, they? I, I it's a mixture. You, you have any kind of predator problems or? Any what predator? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, we have them go missing sometimes. Do they? Yeah, we've uh, we've had them for three years. We've lost two. One the we, goats? Yeah, two goats. Oh yeah, mountain lion problem. Well, one we lost. No, isn't it that they just could escape and you ever found them though? Yeah, but they would. They like they're herd animals, so they they hang out together. So they, if one leaves, it wouldn't like it wouldn't abandon everybody. They'd never gone far enough, you basically. Yeah, and it, it would come back. So one we know got eaten because we found bones. Oh damn! Yeah, but the other one was either stolen or got eaten. The thing is, y'all still live close enough to other people. That's kind of surprising. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of like. Maybe it would be a fox. I get him. I don't think they're big enough. It's coyotes. Coyote. Yeah. I don't think they get them. And then we had like a we had a hawk killing a bunch of our chickens too. Recently. A hawk. Yeah. Damn. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Have you ever watched uh, a rooster fight a hawk? No. They'll, like, literally fight to the death. I didn't, I didn't think a rooster could compete. No, like, they'll, like, literally <laughs> sacrifice themselves to save the, the, the those, chickens. Those, uh, those rooster fights they do? Cock fighting? Cock fighting? Yeah. <laughs> they go at it. I've never They're seen mean birds. Like I've never seen one. I, I thought a hawk would just kill it. I didn't think you'd be able to fight that. Uh, no, they'll put up a good fight. So if you have a couple roosters, you should be okay from a hawk? Yeah, but no. I don't know if you can have a couple roosters all in. Oh, can you only have, like, one? No, we have three. In okay. the same pen? Well, they're kind of like they walk at their free roam. Okay. Kind of like I don't know. You can have three acres, together, like real close. Yeah. How many chickens do you have? Somewhere between like fifteen and twenty. Probably. Okay. Yeah, you got we gotta go to their his house one time. They have yeah, good, no, I've they, never been. They have a good. The three of us will drive over there. Hunter and Austin. They have a good little setup. And so your dad can see my truck and be like, "Oh yeah." <laughs> oh yeah, I need to get all that stuff for mine. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I'm driving your dad's truck is what sold me on getting a Chevy. I was like, oh, it's pretty nice. That is nice. Even though I don't get why my head, I mean, your dad's truck, my head hits the top, but then in mine it doesn't. You look at me. No, Ryan, I, my eyes might have been crossing, so I'm fucking, <laughs> you know. Hey, two minutes on that camera. I'm not sure what. This one? Mm-hmm. Should, I, should I redo it? No, that's still wrong. We just got two minutes, basically. Oh, cool. So you want to do something like that, like a kind of like what Ryan has, a couple goats, chickens, stuff like that. But like much larger scale, I imagine. Yeah, just. Oh, you want to do larger scale than that? No, yeah. no, no. I mean, I just want a couple. Well, he wants. Don't you want like what 10, 20 acres? Well, that's for deer. But yeah, well yeah. But I mean, the animal the animal farm ain't bringing in no profit. It's more just. That's for the to, wife to, to please that... Brooke and just uh, like off. Like, <laughs> oh, video. don't don't put an effort because of that. that is... That's a lot of effort for. That's, no, I make That's videos cool. off them too. So. Yeah, they're. Like, I'd build up a. It'd be cool to have some chickens. Just oh, no, the chickens are awesome. Want. You, you never, don't want chickens? Never, no, you never ever buy eggs though. It's really cool, and you eat a ton of eggs, don't you? Yeah, but I feel like chickens are. Just, they're super easy. I think they're super easy to maintain though. Like. Yeah, they're not hard. Just get the feed and. They you yeah. don't need. I mean, they they'll if you have enough land. They'll just. They loud. No. <laughs> just don't put them like right next We're to your house. Live, are you gonna live like in some neighborhood somewhere? No. Well, yeah. Yeah. Why do you care? You won't be able to hear them. If yeah. anything, no, my neighbor back in Austin has has chickens, and uh, you can hear them. The roosters are super wow. loud. The chickens are. What time do they? Um, uh, isn't it just dawn? So early, you don't hear it. Like I'm, I'm still asleep, but I, I've been out there a couple times for for it, and then it's pretty early. I think if you're outside, it's a problem. I think if you're inside, you're. What does a chicken go for? Six dollars. You get a chick for like a dollar. Oh. Oh okay. shit! Really? Yeah. yeah. I was in Elgin one time and Three we were walking maybe? the the railroads and I almost bought a chicken just for the fuck yeah. of it. Yeah. And once you get like a, a flock going, you can take the eggs. If you have a rooster, you can just keep popping out more of them. If you yeah. replace the the killed animal. <laughs>